Hello there, it's Elise Benin of marketing-mentor.com and welcome back to yet another in the marketing blueprint series. Today I'm looking at excellent examples of marketing smart homepages of copywriters and content strategists and why I think they're great. And when we're looking at homepages, I'm looking especially at the positioning statement. So here on marketing-mentor.com, the positioning statement is a question. Is inconsistent marketing getting in the way of better clients and more money? That positioning statement is so important because you want your best prospects, your ideal clients to land on your homepage and not have any doubt that you are the perfect fit for them. And the idea is to attract those people because you're not going to be a good fit for absolutely everyone. So you use your positioning statement to weed out the people who are not a good fit and weed in the people who are. So hopefully here I'm practicing what I preach. So we're gonna be looking at the positioning message, some additional text that supports that message, sometimes the homepage image, although for content strategists and copywriters, not so much and especially the calls to action. Some people have one, some people have several, some people have very subtle ones, but we're gonna look at all the different ways of doing that. All right, so here we go. First up, example number one is Amy Posner. She's a direct response copywriter and the niche she's focused on is from my list of 10, number two, a horizontal niche, which means that she specializes not in a particular industry, which would be a vertical, but a particular type of service or medium, which is direct response copywriting and marketing strategy. So you'll see she's got a couple different positioning statements actually that I think work nicely together. The first is her tagline, direct response copywriting and marketing strategy that grows your business. The second is in that little speech bubble, a question, is your message about you or about your prospect? And if you scroll down a little bit, you see direct response copy drives results. Yes, it works for every business in any industry. So she's coming at you from a couple different ways with the positioning, but I do think they work nicely together. Then the homepage image, yes, I like the image that shows a friendly Amy backed by an infographic that illustrates and visually conveys more details about her services. So skills and strategy and goals, etc. She's got two types of calls to action. The first one here, need powerful copy in the upper right hand corner, click here now. So if we, these are for people who are essentially ready to buy. They have a need, it's immediate, and they wanna do something now. And the second one is this get your info kit, which is for prospects who are not quite ready to get in touch, but want to peruse more information at their own leisure. And it's really a good idea to have different calls to action for different types of prospects. And so she's doing that well here. Example number two is Bryn Muth, who is a writer who writes about food, wellness, and design. You can see that in her little tagline here. And her niche is multiple verticals, essentially. And you can see that in her positioning statement right here. So she's speaking to more than one market simultaneously, but they also kind of intersect. She says, I help publications, creative firms, and brands tell mouthwatering stories to their audiences. And I can bring a tasty approach to copywriting for your next project. So there are food related metaphors and language that speak to the food market because she writes about food. But if you're not a food business, she also writes for creative firms and publications. And then if you scroll down a little bit, you see that this slider, each piece of the slider, each element of the slider speaks to a different one of those three markets. So for publications, a little bit of detail, for food and wellness brands, a little bit of detail, and for creative firms, a little bit of detail. So that reinforces her positioning statement, one panel at a time. And then if you scroll down, I really like, again, writers are expected to write and give you lots of copy. So I like her personal note here. 
that addresses the needs of the audience. Again, her ideal client, but it's personal and she's signed it. And I think that's kind of nice. And then her call to action here, free gift, marketing smarts, download my free white paper, enter your email. So that's just simple and easy to do. Example number three is Katie Daggett, copy and content writing. That's her tagline. Her niche is multiple vertical niches, which you can see also in her positioning statement where she says, we help healthcare and technology brands educate and engage customers with professionally written marketing copy for print and web. So that's the first thing the visitor sees when landing on this homepage is a big, bold statement addressed to two unrelated, but not not always unrelated target markets about their goals. Also, I want to note the use of we in the positioning statement, even though the company is clearly her, but she's targeting corporations and corporations are often more comfortable with we. So you can use it. You can say that. Sometimes it's enough just to say we. Now, if we scroll down, we see, actually, she's got two calls to action, right? The call to discuss your ideas if you're in a hurry. And then if you're not, you can get the free marketing pros guide to creating great content. And I like the way she says the marketing pros guide. That's you, ideal client. She's looking for marketing pros. And then the sub tagline here is how to nurture your leads and stop losing sales. And she also has this little line underneath the field where you put your email address. You'll also get occasional news and updates from KD Copy and Content. You can unsubscribe at any time and I'll never share your information ever. And then finally, I want to call your attention to this additional text here because she clarifies the difference between her services and outlines the three types of copywriting and content that she offers with, for each, a benefit-oriented description that links to a landing page where you can learn more depending on which one you're interested in. All right, moving on. All right, example number four is Liesl. And her company is called Engage With Words. And she also targets multiple vertical markets, niches. And you can see what they are right there in the positioning statement, writing for nonprofits, associations, and businesses. So that's simple, straightforward, three different target markets. Why not? With a friendly photo front and center. And also I want you to notice the a benefit-oriented URL, engagewithwords.com. Then for the additional text right here, she's got four questions. And so the four questions highlight pain points as well as the different media in which Liesl works, which supports the needs of the different vertical markets that she's referenced above. So for example, Do you have more publications on your plate than staff to handle them? That could be a nonprofit, an association. Is your web content a random heap of repurposed print brochures, outdated press releases, and old news? Oh, how embarrassing that would be. She's speaking to your pain. Or do you need more than just content, compelling, thought-provoking words that really connect with your audience? Or... Do you need a dependable, resourceful writer on your team, but maybe just during crunch time? So nicely worded, of course, she's a writer, uh, pain point questions that speak to the nonprofits, associations, and businesses. I'm Liesl, and I would love to help learn more. And then her call to action, interested in learning more about working together, let's connect, which links to a contact form. Let's look at it. Because one of the things I like about her contact form is she asks questions about the type of project and how did you find me and what is your approximate budget? This is really smart because if you ask people verbally, they sometimes often won't tell you. But if they have to choose from multiple choice, 
or just tell you they haven't thought about it, then you're more likely to get the information. Plus, it says right here, without coming right out and saying it, 500 is the minimum. This is a really good contact form, so you can take a look at it. Would you like to get my un-newsletter once a month? I promise I won't share your contact info with anyone ever. Example number five is Tom Tombush of WordStream Copy, and his niches are also two verticals, but unrelated. Copy that creates action for creative professionals and green business. That's his positioning statement. And you can see creative professionals and green businesses, they don't really have that much in common, but that's okay because you can say, I work with this group and that group. There's nothing wrong with that. So let's look at additional text because I like the way he's using the slider here. Seven reasons you'll love working with Tom at WordStream Copy. And each of them here, I'll just go through a few of them. Great hassle-free content. A couple of them speak directly to designers and other creatives. Others are more universal and apply to everyone. So that's a nice way to, again, focus on or speak directly to a particular market without alienating everyone. You can combine those two things. All right, and Tom's call to action in the footer. He's actually got two there. One is the free ebook that demystifies writers. And look at this. He asks for your birthday. Hmm. Maybe he's sending chocolate. I don't know. And then reach out. Give me a call. This is if you have a more general inquiry or want to talk about a project. So it's basically a contact form. And finally, example number six is alyssamartin.com. And I think her niche is vertical. It's women. Is women an industry? Not really, but it's a very focused group of people, even though there are a lot of them or us. And I love her positioning statement. It's big and bold. Are you ready to unapologetically tell the world what you do? So what's interesting about it is that it's a question that's really unrelated to her copywriting services, but that it qualifies her best prospects because if you can't say yes to this, then you may not be ready for Alyssa. She may not be a good fit. So she's putting right out there the kind of writing that she does and uh, trying to attract the kind of people she wants to write for. All right, then if you scroll down, there's more bold, unapologetic copy about her and about you. How can we work together? Click here to find out. That's a call to action. Here's another call to action. It's time to get remarkable messaging that helps you make a difference and a profit. So she's offering content. Get your free copywriting that hooks more clients email course. It's here to help you write your website copy so that your dream clients sit up, pay attention, and jump at the chance to hire you. Wait a minute. Isn't that what she's going to do for you? Why would she give you that how-to in a course so that you can do it yourself? I get this question a lot, so that's why I'm addressing it here. Because people who can do it themselves are not your good clients or prospects. So let them do it themselves. Show them what you know and let them do it. And the people who are not going to do it themselves are going to download this and see, oh my God, I can't do this myself and know exactly who to call for help. So it's really a very effective strategy. And then I just want to show you one other thing about how her content, she's got you know, women writing testimonials, but her content marketing is also very focused on women and supports her positioning. She's got a podcast called Confessions of a Female Entrepreneur, and it just really nicely supports her work and even her clients, because I'll bet some of these are her clients. So there again, you have an opportunity to download with this same call to action, right? Hell yeah, I want that. Very big and bold. And again, repetition because it's not in just one place, it's in a couple different places. All right.
we'll go back to where we started, which is marketing-mentor.com. I hope that was helpful. I hope you can apply what you learned to your own homepage. And of course, if you have questions or you want to take advantage of my free session, you can sign up for it here. There, in that red thing right there. That's where you sign up. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye.